sometimes when I speak to people, when I message people, every so often I receive single words about people. A word or a personality trait that they may have. For instance, let's say that a person is selfish. What would happen sometimes when I am speaking to a person or when I am messaging a person, that word or some other word about them comes to me. And every so often, I am allowed to feel that particular trait within them. So if selfishness came to me about a person, sometimes I would be able to feel how selfish they are, even if they are acting like they are this great person, so on and so on. And you may say, man, that is really cool. When you experience that, it is not cool. Knowing particular things about people is not interesting. Especially if you are learning or finding out some of their bad ways. Or when God, let me say this. Sometimes what God shows you about people is not interesting. It is actually heartbreaking at times. I am not the type of person that, hey, I want to know this. I want to know that. I want to know this because the more you know, the more you see how bad things really are. And sometimes, too, I receive images about people as well. Like a person may ask me, you know what, Kevin, what is going on? I am going through this and that. And sometimes those images don't come to me that an instant. Sometimes I could be eating or doing something random then all of a sudden, like something about them comes to me, like it drops within me, if that makes any sense. Then I could tell the person, well, this is your problem, blah, blah, blah. And add to what I have been telling that person already. Like I was saying, knowing certain things about people it is not as interesting as you may think. Sometimes, and let me be honest now, sometimes it is best to not know so much. So if you are the type of person that eavesdrop and all of this other stuff, sometimes it is not good to know particular types of information because sometimes that information can really do you harm i just need to know i just need to know no you don't that is probably why you go through so much stuff right now because you overheard something and it has hurt you and you are not allowing whatever has been said or told to you you are not letting it go. Anyways, let's go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 8. I want to speak about people who are sinning or when you sin. I know that we may think, not we, but some people may think that 
sinning is something that is really fun. What is that word? You only live once. YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> or you only have one life to live, you know, live it to the fullest, huh? Okay. In flame and fire, taking revenge or vengeance on them that not, that know not God. So in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So what is that saying? This is saying that God is going to punish you and continue to punish you when you choose to disobey him. Inflaming fire, taking vengeance. This is not saying Satan. I know some people love to say, hey, Satan demons are doing these bad things to me. They are causing me to be sick or they are causing so many bad things to happen to me. No, this is saying God himself, not demons, not Satan, not this, not that, but God himself. Well, I believe that I am being tested by God because I am going through all of these things. If you are not obeying God, how are you being tested when bad things are happening to you? When you are not obeying God, he is taking vengeance upon you. That is not a test. Testing and taking vengeance upon you is not the same things. When God is cursing you, taking his vengeance upon you, that is not testing. Don't fool yourself. You are being cursed. Well, what about Job, Kevin? What about Job? Well, with Job, if you read it, Job was a righteous man. And if you read it, Satan came to God asking God, hey, can I mess with Job? Satan did not say that Job was doing all of these sins. No, he was saying, hey, I want to curse Job. But with you, if you are in sin, God is taking his vengeance upon you because you are choosing to disobey him. Why are all these bad things happening to me? If you are not serving God, that is why. Hey, can you pray for me? Yes, I can pray for you, but if you continue, if you continue to do the bad or the wrong thing, nothing really is going to change because God can't like force you, hey, I am going to do something to your brain where you can't think or act upon your own will. You still have your will. So if you don't choose to want to change or to change, I can pray for you until I am blue. And at the color I am at now, that would be a lot of praying. <laughs> My Lord. So, Stop saying Satan is cursing you or hurting you or unjustly doing things to you when it is God that is doing it. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
So God is punishing you because you are choosing to not do his will. I pray that this makes sense. Okay, God bless.